Kenya's fourth largest retail chain, Uchumi Supermarkets, is still in the woods. The company posted a pre-tax loss of 1.2 billion shillings for the first half of 2015. Basing on the restated, we have reduced the loss by 800. Dr. Julius Kipngetich, who inherited the hot seat at the troubled store mid last year, embarked on a restructuring plan to save the farm's fortunes, closing all loss-making stores in Uganda and Tanzania. We have no more payroll obligations for Uganda and Tanzania. That will lead to a saving of roughly around 25 million per month. The listed retailer is also strengthening relations with its suppliers, having owed them a whopping 1 billion shillings at some point. We are now signing uh, new agreements uh, under new payment arrangements with most of our suppliers. Bringing Uchumi back to profitability may seem like a challenging task for many, but Dr. Julius Kipnetich remains confident that the turnaround plan put in place will succeed. Uchumi is in the process of recapitalizing its business and will be bringing on board a strategic investor. We had said we wanted to look at uh, up to 5 billion uh, Kenya shillings. We'll complete all that before the end of the financial year. And uh, the next financial year is just growth, growth, growth. Uchumi staff will also be required to declare their wealth in the next two weeks in a move aimed at eliminating conflict of interest. Retail is a small margin business, so somebody stealing just a little can wipe out your margin. Uchumi has cut down its workforce to 1,700 people with plans to cut down even further as part of cost-cutting measures. Denis Otieno, Citizen, Live at One.